Hello everyone, this is Ryan Prasad. This is a notebook I wrote for Geog 589 at PSU. This is the Earth Engine course. And the first lesson, and actually all the lessons in this course, you're supposed to be doing in JavaScript in the Earth Engine code editor. But Dr. Kuisheng Wu made a fantastic piece of software called GMAP, and you can do your assignments in GMAP as well. But you can't do that for course credit. But anyway, I wanted to show you how I did the first assignment in GMAP. And so um, this, these are just the standard lines. You're going to import Earth Engine and GMAP, and you can just plot the map there. Give it a second. All right, there's our map. Now, um, the what you're doing for this assignment is you're given a code snippet, and you're going to modify it to, um, to suit your needs. So um in a nutshell you're given a um a code snippet of landsat 8 image cloud free imagery that was clipped to the boundary of rocky mountain national park and the assignment is basically to choose your national park and clip it to your national park and change the sensor or um, whatever bands so um i did that and I did this in GMAP. The only thing was um, you can't bring in your shapefile into GMAP and then clip an Earth Engine data set to what you brought into GMAP. So what I ended up having to do is use the asset that I used um, for the JavaScript portion, my deliverable for class. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your shapefile. In my case, I got my shapefile of Ocala National Forest from the Forest Service. I just downloaded, downloaded that and then I uploaded it as an asset here in this tab to, um, to, to my user space. So um, you can see the shapefiles over here. So you just hit new, um, you'll upload it as a table as a shapefile and then um, you can upload your SHP and um, you're going to need all the DBF and the SHX file as well with that. So once that's uploaded, um, you'll go back to Jupyter and GMAP and you'll just bring that Earth Engine asset, not the shapefile, your Earth Engine asset in as a variable. Um, then you'll bring in um, the Landsat imagery that you're interested in. So um, for me, this was uh, Landsat 8, Collection 1, Tier 1, Surface Reflectance. Um, I knew I needed to filter by path and row. That was 16 and 40. And then my date was from May 2020 to July 2020. Um, I wanted cloud free imagery. And I needed that clipped. This line is important over here. I wanted that clipped to what I defined up here. And then after that, you just define your visualization parameters over here. And then you add those layers and the shapefile to the map. And then you can um, center and scale that. So let's run this. And there you go. So um, if you go over here, you can select your layers. And so here is the colorized infrared image that's clipped to the boundary. Here's the RGB image that's clipped to the boundary, and here is the polygon that we initially defined as an asset and uploaded into Earth Engine. So um, that's the lesson one assignment done in GMAP. Um, all you have to do is remember go into Earth Engine and upload your shapefile as an asset, and that's uh, the only little tricky part. So. Um, You'll find my code in my GitHub listed below. Thank you for watching.